I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Eric Demura, the founder and CEO of Cartesi. Eric, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to be here. Thanks, Ashton. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Yeah, I'm really excited to dive into Cartesi. So let's just jump right into it. Could you start with a little bit of background on what is Cartesi and you know how did you come to found it? Sure. So Cartesi is a company, a blockchain technology company that exists for three years now. And it gathers academics and engineers. We are working together to solve basic problems in the technical adoption of blockchain technology, mm -hmm. namely scalability and programmability of smart contracts. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, there's a lot of work going into smart contracts right now, but there are a lot of issues and problems still. And most of the smart contracts are on Ethereum. And I know that your team has a grand vision for what you're looking to achieve. So what is your vision of what smart contracts on Ethereum or on the blockchain are going to look like when all is said and done with Cartesi? Sure. So if you trace back in time, you remember that the original idea of Ethereum was to create a sort of world computer. So it would allow smart contracts to run on a blockchain in a totally decentralized way. The problem is that this computer is a very uh, badly performing computer. So it scales very badly. Uh, it doesn't allow for much computation, for much storage, and the fees are very high. It became very clear uh, last year, around June, when Compounds launched its token and then uh, it started the DeFi mania that it became impossible for people to use the blockchain. So there are two basic problems that we are solving, uh, starting from Ethereum. One is that we allow uh, smart contracts to run on a second layer, boosting computation, allowing for million fold computational capabilities, and also uh, improving on throughput scalability. Mm -hmm. But we keep the same security guarantees as the underlying blockchain. Mm -hmm. And we do that using uh, the rollups, an, an implementation of optimistic rollups. The second thing that sets us apart as a scalability system is the fact that we develop a VM, a virtual machine, mm. that allows developers to create smart contracts using mainstream software stacks. Mm. So if you are a developer, instead of using Solidity and being constrained by the limits of the EVM, we give you a, a full virtual machine that runs Linux and al allows you to run uh, mainstream software and use mainstream components to build your smart contracts. Mm -hmm. So we believe that to be a, a massive gain in productivity for developers. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, Eric. Linux approach is not something that I've seen too often in the blockchain industry. And I know there are a lot of developers and languages that you can use already. I'm guessing that's part of the reason um, why off-chain Linux and does... So first of all, why is, is the reason for Linux because of the interoperability with different languages and connecting to different blockchains? And what are the main advantages besides some of these other platforms that are doing layer two solutions, but they're for Ethereum, but they're not using Linux? Yeah. So the other platforms are usually trying to scale uh, Ethereum, but they keep using the EVM or mm. EVM-like environments and porting Solidity code. But Solidity was uh, a language that was created for this purpose, and mm. uh, there is a whole uh, system that needs to mature around Solidity, the tooling and everything. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, Linux, Linux is, a, is, a, is an operating system that has been evolving for decades. And we have thousands and thousands of, of software components, libraries, services, frameworks, languages that were developed on top of Linux the last 30 years or more. Mm -hmm. So imagine that you as a developer of a smart contract, you can count on this vast array of components to develop your logic. So it really allows for a vast limit of possibilities when you program your smart mm -hmm. contract. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned when the birth of Compound came out last year, there was an explosion in decentralized finance and DeFi, primarily being on Ethereum. And that's where we saw those scalability issues. 
Uh, can you talk about Cartesi solution with respect directly to the decentralized finance industry? Because there were some other issues, you know, with Ethereum has been known to have scaling issues before DeFi came out. And then when DeFi came out, all of a sudden it exploded and the transaction costs were through the roof. Um, but decentralized finance continues to grow. So how, how is Cartesi getting involved with decentralized finance and solving the issues within that industry? Absolutely. Uh, I would say it starts from the fact that we are implementing optimistic rollups. So rollups is a, is a technique for layer two scalability that has been proposed by uh, people related to the Ethereum Foundation and also being a preferred kind of layer two solution. Other solutions like, uh, like sidechains and plasma, they have some uh, kind of deficiencies. And Rollups allows for applications to guarantee data availability, which is essential for security, especially in the five applications when you have a lot of money involved mm -hmm. that you have to secure well your application. So in that sense, uh, we are implementing Rollups. So we, just like other projects implementing Rollups, we are gonna allow for scalable DeFi applications. Mm -hmm. But because we also support Linux, these DeFi developers, they will be able to develop much more elaborate and complex DeFi logic using Cartesi. Mm. Mm. And you mentioned that <clears throat> one of the main differences with Cartesi is that the underlying security is, although it has the scalability and throughput, the underlying security is going to be the same as Ethereum. Now, compared to some of the other platforms that are using sidechains and Plasma, as you talked about, you're using off-chain and to me, that sounds like, oh, it's not, you know, when you're first creating applications, it's not decentralized or it's on a centralized server. Um, it, is that true? And can you just re-talk about the security part in terms of the security advantages on Cartesi compared to just on Ethereum dApps that are on the network? Right, sure. So again, in the, in the rollups uh, design, especially in the optimistic rollups design, uh, instead of having the Ethereum validators validating the computation and transactions, you have a set of validator nodes working on layer two. Mm -hmm. So these validator nodes, they can uh, make the computation uh, off-chain. And what they do is that they, they, they usually uh, work on a small set of applications or a single application instead of all the applications in the universe like Ethereum does. So that's where they scale well. And it's secure because in optimistic rollups, one of these off-chain validators just do just does the entire computation and proposes a result back on the mm. blockchain. Mm. And then uh, all the other validators and people involved in the system, they hope that solution is correct, but they have a chance to verify if the computation is accurate and correct. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, they have a, a, a long enough time period to challenge the, the claim and prove to the blockchain that that was wrong in first place. Mm -hmm. So uh, optimistic rollups, they don't rely immediately on the full security of the blockchain only when it's needed. So mm -hmm. that's why it scales very well while preserving the security of the underlying blockchain. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now I understand the economics a little bit better. And uh, to add to that, can you talk about the Cartesi token, how that fits into the Cartesi ecosystem, if the developers are interacting with it, and does it create a sustainable ecosystem? Sure. So there are a few different use cases for the Cartesi token. Cartesi is developing rollups on one side and also a side chain to scale data uh, for decentralized applications. So we have these two products that are running in parallel. So uh, the rollups scale transactions and computation, the sidechain scales data. Mm -hmm. uh, the great innovation about the sidechain is that it is a sidechain for temporary data. If you look at, at mm -hmm. uh, regular blockchains, they store data forever. Mm -hmm. So it's very expensive, in fact, to keep data in the blockchain forever. We're designing a sidechain in which applications will be uh, able to define a window of time in which the data needs to be preserved and then they are just deleted mm. so that will allow also for great data scalability uh for the uh, for cartesi applications as a whole 
So in the side chain, the Cartesian token works just like uh, Ethereum would work for a blockchain. It's mm -hmm. used as a crypto fuel for users to insert transactions and for validators to receive rewards for performing their job. So that's the main utility of the Cartesian mm -hmm. token. The other one is that you're creating a marketplace for uh, validators that are uh, using the rollups infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So uh, validators will be able to set their prices and the users will be able to pay or, 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 or request whatever they want to pay for the services as well. So mm -hmm. all this marketplace is going to be working on Cartesian token. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. I did not know about that side chain and the marketplace as well. And so you mentioned that the platform has been running for three years now. Are all three of those already in production and in, you know, in the, like they're already working? Uh, in 2020, uh, we developed the first piece of the technology and released a first usable SDK. So it was a computational oracle that allows smart contracts to define complex computational jobs that are performed off chain and returned to the blockchain. Right now, we are working on the implementation of optimistic rollups. Mm -hmm. uh, we intend to get to test nets by Q2. Mm -hmm. And we are also developing parallel the side chain. So mm. also the first part of the side chain has already been completed. In December, we released the proof of stake system that we already have lots of people participating in. And that is the foundation for the side chain. The complete side chain uh, will take a while and we are going to announce other releases along this year. Wow. Well, it sounds like 2021 is going to be an exciting year for you and your team. It is. Very exciting year. Yeah. What, what do you think will be one of the major key success factors to you know, getting all of this out and then having it have rapid adoption throughout 2021? We are trying whatever we can to first make, make people aware of mm -hmm. the breakthrough that Cartes is breaking to the industry, mm -hmm. right? We are setting uh, a new standard for people to develop smart contracts that we believe to be much more powerful. So we are going to be working closely with developers, with uh, other blockchain projects, uh, with DeFi startups, with gaming startups as well. And from times to times, we're gonna from time to time we're gonna deploy some kind of uh, incentive program. Mm. Last year, for instance, we uh, we ran a grant program, a Cartes incubation, the app program, and we have three projects now developing their applications using the first version of our tech. And this is the kind of a, of a mechanism that we're going to be using going forward mm -hmm. to bring people into our platform and then they will see that they can do amazing things and they, they just spread the word as well. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds great. Now, if there are other developers or DeFi projects or stakers or just community members that are looking to get involved with Cartesi, what's the best way to learn more and to get into the community? So we have um, different channels through which people can get in contact with us. Uh, we are always willing to engage in technical conversations with people. And for that, we have an exclusive Discord channel. Uh, we also have several Telegram communities, an international one and also other regional uh, communities in different countries. And we are definitely open to hear whatever people want to bring, uh, suggestions and questions, and we are ready to engage. Mm -hmm. Great, Eric. Well, I will leave all of those links in the description box below for the viewers. All the best with Cartesi in 2021. It sounds like your team has a lot on the table and I'm excited to follow along. So let's follow up in the near future. Thanks, Ashton.